Thank you for staying with us. Now, this week in showbiz land, it's all go as I Am A Celeb Get Me Out Of Here commences on Sunday evening on 3E. Helen Flanagan, also known as Rosie from Carnation Street, has already had a meltdown and the programme hasn't even begun. While here in Ireland, Jedward were back in Dublin as they spoke to some of the children in St. Alton's National School in Ballyfermot. So what's new with the pop stars? Well, Leanne Moore, who joins us this morning, met up with the former X Factor star during the week and let's see how she got on. We're on a Dublin bus this morning and we're very excited because we're joined by the lovely Jedward. How are you, lad? I know we're bo joined by us, okay, but we're also born. What, what are you saying, John? Joined. Go again, go again, go again, go again. What? what are you talking about? I'm not going to go again, okay? This is Sienna and this is Sarah Kay. Liana Kay, it's so cool to see you here today, okay? Today we're here for Dublin Bus, the Herald, 98 FM, okay? We're really excited, okay? It's all about And we're the all here tomorrow. because these guys emailed. Tell us about it. How did you guys do this? We just text in the COVID. We are here to talk about the Dublin bus Jedward Panto. It's happening in the Olympia Theatre this Christmas. Tell us a little bit about that, Edward. Um, the pantomime this year is going to be totally different. The first pantomime was Jedward and Cinderella, and then there was Jedward and the Beanstalk, and this year it's Jedward and the Magic Lamp. So we're hoping that the Magic Lamp will be big enough for us to squeeze into it. Every single show is like a countdown to Christmas. Like all the kids are always like, oh, this like our, this our like twentieth show or whatever, or whatever. And then you finally get comes Christmas, and that's the time you have off, and then you go back to the pantomime. And it's only on for two weeks, and there's two shows a day. So it's like really, really like fun. Your cover of Skyfall is after going everywhere on the net at the moment. Why are you doing all these covers and putting them up there? Is what are you trying to? Are you trying to show a different side to Jedward? I think it's cool because we're, we're just doing like loads because we play like loads of guitar, so like we're doing loads of really cool songs and we're going to do like loads more covers. So John literally went online and he ordered the guitar from like Germany and then the guitar arrived, made and everything. It's like a really really cool guitar. And when can we expect the next single? Um, I don't know, January. And we're gonna have like Christmas song as well. We're like planning on recording an it's awesome. We're, uh, we're planning on recording an awesome Christmas music video where like we're doing all Christmas stuff, like baking gingerbread men, and we've putting the Christmas tree up, and everything. We contacted um, Wiz, like those guys sing like that song, and they're like, "Oh, I wish it could be Christmas every day." Remake. Listen, lads, thanks a million for joining us this morning on Ireland AM, and all the best with the run. Ireland AM are the coolest ever, okay? We watch it every single morning. Everyone keep up the good work, okay? Alan, you keep stay, stay cool as well, okay? Everyone, you guys Let are awesome. say something. Oh. I miss you, Dad. <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. So and I want to come over. He's in Australia. He's down under. Oh, well, we couldn't have said it better than that. Listen, guys, have a wonderful day, and thanks Good a million time. for joining us. Yeah, and stay cool. There we go, Je Jedward in all their glory. Well, I wasn't invited to the birthday party, guys. Where was where was the birthday party invitation to their twenty oh, first? Were you there? I wasn't. I couldn't go on the night, but uh, I did get an invite. But oh, go on the see, night. all right, you were the selected few. <laughs> um, and uh, Lee McKenna then has announced that he's parting ways with he the guys is. as their tour manager he after is. two and a half years with them. Yeah, he's been on the road with them for two and a half years, and you know what? I think as well, they're they're old enough now to kind of be, you know, go ahead themselves. And Liam's pretty much. Caught up with the X Factor stuff at the moment mm -hmm. as well, so it's it's He's just Louis PA over it's there. It's become every time, weekend. exactly, yeah. exactly. But we're all looking forward to Jed with the musical next year. Jed with the musical. Apparently, Jed with the musical is going to be hitting us next year. They're aiming for West End. Sure, we'll see. We'll see. We <laughs> definitely will. Okay, 